welcome back again <coughs> so in, this is the demonstration how we go through this uh, airplane that uh, evade and escape all of this explosion coming to it and the pilot was very clever and managed to escape all of these massive explosion so I'll walk you through the file so multiple explosion with the trail and uh, the camera is following up the airplane and he managed to escape and enjoy the view so as you can see here this is the burst multiple burst the rocket trying to capture the airplane and make it explode but it's like mirage it's invisible and uh, here this uh, exercise I'm trying to uh, see how I can make the geometry of the airplane affect the pyro simulation and the, this smoke cloud so uh, it will push and advict the velocity and make the smoke uh, run away just a test and here another another one this is the trails and uh, there was one test where is it So this is the hip file. For that this is the air plan. I took it from Sketchfab. Upload and thanks to Gonzalo Sanchez. This is the model. Very nice texture. But uh, because I'm using it from a distance, so it was okay. And I mod uh, downloaded the GITF. So here in Houdini, I downloaded the model. I added the camera, and uh, environment light. Use an HDRI. Let's go back to the camera. So in, in, so inside the git file, this is the material. A couple of material, nothing fancy. But see the distance. I'm okay. And this is the file. So where did I start? I started from here. I brought the model. This is the model and it's big I transform it make it to a proper scale I orient it to the proper uh, axis front look for uh, minus xx then I match size it put it on the ground and then I split the fans because I want them to rotate so they are in their own group and here I had two three one for the render this one and this is for simulation so here I make a bound for the fan and this is the transformation it just rotation by f frame rotate 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 quickly could be missing same thing here then I merge all together so this is the animation apply it normal and this is the normal because the, I use the normal to make uh, a velocity on the body of the airplane <coughs> so in a point pop I took the normal and uh, a 
vector in up this is up here I did a cross product for it another cross product and then I multiply it by a constant to increase it I negate it to make it to go back and apply it to the velocity if I apply it to the normal one second in the velocity now here I put 1000 because the airplane is big moving fast and trying to run away from the from the explosion the transform is the, just the animation let me just move this one and go to the camera this is the transformation The sky is nice. The clouds. Very nice. <coughs> After that, this is the collision, but I didn't use. You can use it. It will set up for you a VDB with uh, the field name of collision. But what I did, I make a time blend up to five, five sub steps so between frames there is some data so it will uh, not step in like stepping when you do the simulation I make a VDB from it this is the VDB <coughs> and I make it bigger Uh, there will be an air field around the airplane when it moves so that's why I increase its size much bigger here I created a line this line is the path of the airplane while it's uh, being viewed by the camera these are the points and I make jitter the jitter is mainly in the x axis and little bit in the z axis so they are not aligned attribute la angle on points I make the added a start frame to be the pt number multiplied by 10 so here one second Here we have the start frame every 10 frame. Let me lock this one. <coughs> then I adjusted the starting frame so it will uh, use that attribute. I adjusted the spread angle when it degree 15 degree in between and the expansion of the explosion by a value of 1 and the B scale initial value 1 so plus minus 0.25 <coughs> and the normal also adjusted to be to go down and copy number here I have two branch the first branch is the pyro burst Here the pair shape offset by 14. This is the number of trail, and you can you can make it also random animation only for five frames. This is the component and the velocity. This is the volume rasterized density temperature pair and V. So there will be explosion because we have pair that we added here 
because I have here density, temperature, and burn. On the other hand, here in the pyrobath, this is the pyrobath as you saw in the video. Boom, boom. So this quick trails with the velocity of 20, so they go down fast. And this is the source. And in the source only, I have density and temperature, no burn, so there will be no smoke. This is how it look. Just a fine element, extra detail. Both rasterized, and here I split it according to the uh, trail temperature. Whatever uh, has trail temperature will go to the simulation. Remaining will come here. So this is the fire pole. Should call it explosion. will start at frame 20 this is the voxel size a bit low no bounding and this is the source I make the temperature low also Collision, I make this is the collision. I name it collision also here. VDB from Polygon, I call it a collision, and I added the velocity point velocity. Well, so this collision, I it's the rate of one, the dissipation, emitting smoke, size of 10. These are just the default shape. This is Beyonce, I make it very low, but I don't want it to rise up very quick. Some turbulence and disturbance and wind, of course. I make it in the X and some shredding. Look, I need to play with the look. And here, this is it. run just a couple of frames so we can see so this is a couple of frames this is how it looks this is from far away so that's why it's low res no need to simulate higher resolution or the airplane is far <coughs> this is with the viral look just give it a second still it load so this is with a pyro lock smoke size of 20 let's make it 50 it's darker and two part two line of shadow uh, of uh, color smoke not only one to make it uh, use ramp maybe I should use ramp but I forget here make it darker use the ramp I forget see I kept it on constant but uh, ramp is better so we have two uh, variants because explosion they don't come with one color better to have more than one color to look nice yeah and I'm also here the color correction I'm using the aces so this is without also this one look nice see default is 250 if I make it 1000 marvelous very nice and some masking 
modifier here also I make 500 I make it 1000 didn't show this is secondary fire in case I simulated the trail with fire and then I merge it all with the airplane I used this one here see it's very smart pilot it encapsulated the uh, airplane with this explosion but still no harm nothing and then in karma I render it I added motion blur output I use the intel uh, noise reduction and low setting mm, that's it thank you very much thank you for also for the support have a nice day and have a new year <laughs> 2019 22 tw uh, we'll see okay thank you very much